update so today is day five since my lower lid <coughs> we're gonna start over hi everybody i am back with an update today is day five since my lower lid blepharoplasty and as you can see my eyes are so dark But nonetheless, it's healing like excellent. Like it's healing really well. Um, as you can see, as the days go on, we're on day five and the puffiness is completely gone. What you see right now is the aftermath of the bruising. I just have bruising, but the bags are completely gone. So today was my post-op visit where I got my stitches removed and my upper lids. I don't know if you guys can see really well, but I had stitches in the upper lid because the doctor did do um, a little bit of fat removal in the upper lid as well as the lower lid. So he gave me like a two for one, which is really great and awesome. Um, I wish I would have recorded me at the office getting the stitches removed. However, I was unable to. But um, just to give you guys like a heads up. So today's day five. Yesterday, which was day four, I had some slight hemorrhaging in my right eye. Um, I was on my way to the post office to drop off some orders so they can be shipped. And... I noticed that my right eye started to get very blurry. So I went to the bathroom to see what it was. And my eye was like full, full of blood. It was like bleeding, like, oh my God. I had tears coming down, but it was like blood. Like it wasn't even tears. So I, I cleaned it up, I wiped it off and I immediately went to put ice on it. And I called the doctor, I spoke to the nurse. And um, apparently it's something that can happen um, when you get eye surgery, it's a part of the healing process. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it's something that can happen, especially if your body is, um, advanced healing. So I guess that's what my body was doing. And it, um, you know, I don't know, like blood just, just pushed out out of this, this eye. Cause there is an incision on the lower lid and there's no stitches there. So the, the lower lid incision is meant to heal and close on its own. So apparently like with any bruising, it's like blood that is like po like sitting in pocket. So I don't know, maybe, you know, because my body is healing on its own, it pushed it out. Um, other than that, though, I was fine. There wasn't any extra swelling. It was just a little bit of blood. As soon as I put the ice on it, it stopped. Um, went and saw the nurse today. She she checked me out. She said everything's healing up really well. Let me get really close so you guys can see. Um, my eyes look really shiny because I put some Aquaphor on my where my stitches were. That was something that the nurse suggested so they don't get dry I did have slight scabbing so um I just can't stop because like honestly guys I'm very very happy with the results like I can totally see um once I'm done healing how everything's going to look it's gonna look so nice my eyes are already looking you know much younger and brighter you can see right here under my eyelid like my eyes look so like just young and bright and youthful and 
I'm very, very pleased. Like this is just bruising and it's going to go away with time. So because I had a little bit of hemorrhaging in this eye, the doctor recommended that I continue to ice for like a, the next day or so. And then after that, I can move on to warm compress and the warm compress is going to help um, build some circulation to break up that blood so the bruising can go away. Um, and it'll help speed up the process. So um, all in all, I'm very happy. I have my last follow-up visit with the doctor in a week. So I'll see him next week. And then after that, it's all about just go on with the healing. Soon I'll be able to work out again and um, I'll be able to wear makeup and things like that, but I'm not going to wear makeup for a while. I'm just going to focus on my skin and just try to let the bruising go away and, you know, use some aloe and, and some natural things to just keep my skin smooth and, um, you know, build up the collagen and just, you know, that's that. But all in all, I'm very happy with the results. I've been doing really well. Um, some things to keep in mind is that sometimes if I'm up too long, if I'm standing up too long, if I'm moving too much, like I start to get a headache and that, you know, it lets me know like, girl, you just need to chill. You just got out of the surgery. It's only been five days. Sit down, have a seat. Um, another thing that I've noticed, like due to the medication, because they did put me on an antibiotic, I was taking an antibiotic a um, steroid to help with inflammation, bruising, and swelling, um, and a pain med. Taking all of those meds, honestly, like it, it started to make me feel very sick. Like I had a loose stool, um, just feeling like really down and sick. So I, I brought that up today when I was at the doctor. And they mentioned that it could just be the antibiotic um, that's causing me to have that. Um, and during COVID, you know, just to, to feel sick, it's just like, it feels, it, it doesn't feel good. You know, every, everything is just like, oh my God, COVID. Like, that's like the first thought. But I'm fine. Um, it's just the process and it's just how my body reacts. But overall, things are going well. I just wanted to check in with you guys really quick, let you know how my vi my visit went with the doctor. And so you can see how I'm healing up right now. All in all, it looks good. Um, I really can't complain. Dr. Zabowski was just an excellent doctor. Like I would go to him for any other thing that I may wanna get done, um, or I would recommend him to anyone. If you're in the New Jersey area, like very excellent doctor, all the nurses, everyone, the staff members, everyone was just very pleasant and nice. Every time I walk in, they refer to me by my first name and it's just been such a great experience. So I'm going to check in with you guys after I reach my first week. So that'll be in another two days. And then from there, it's just going to be weekly updates until we get to the four week mark. And then I'll be done with that. So this is Fancy just tuning in with you all. You guys have a wonderful night and I will see you in a few days.